Today we're cutting steel with a Diablo Steel Demon circular saw blade. Let's get to review Tuesday started. Roll the intro. Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm very excited to show you this new Diablo Steel Demon 7 quarter inch steel cutting saw blade. This thing's really amazing. I saw it for the first time about a year ago. I was at the Home Depot Prospective event in New York City and Diablo was there. They were testing this and they are showing how they would put this blade in a circular saw and go through and cut steel. They cut it quickly. It had less sparks. It had less heat. It was a nice clean cut. I'll have to just show you what I'm talking about. What's going on is they're cutting some channel like that and as soon as they cut it they'd grab it and hand it to us and there are no burrs on it. It wasn't hot but if you were to grab something like that that was cut with an angle grinder that sparking that heat the buildup they'll get pretty hot and that would be something that you wouldn't want to grab. I've tested several other Diablo blades before uh, especially like the Sawzall blades and they do a great job. The only thing is they're not going to cut the edges quite as clean as this one can right here. So if you just take a look at that, nice straight edges. So my plan for this video, I'm trying to change my format a little bit. I'm going to do just a little bit of talk in the beginning and then get right to the action. And then at the end, have a little more talking again, just to give you some of the finer points and the specs of this. Just so after you see how this works, you kind of understand and hear me explain what's going on and why it does the job that it does. So my plan right now is to get this thing installed on my circular saw. Then we're going to go to my work area over there and see this thing in action. I just installed the new blade on there on the circular saw. Before I get to cutting, I want to get a measurement of the temperature of this. So it's 43.6 degrees. So I want to show you how much this heats up or actually how little it heats up. And this is my very first cut with the blade. Normally I like to test it out a little bit first, but you're going to see it firsthand how it works. This is a bracket right here for putting tools on. You can put it on your wall and there's special clips that go in it. This is 1 16th of an inch thick, this channel right here. So I'm going to cut it right on that line right there. Okay. Looking good. Let's check the temperature. I'm going to try to get right on the edge. 46.4. All right, let's take the angle grinder to it and see how fast you can cut it. Okay. Let's get a measurement. I can kind of smell the smoke. The 130, it was like 133 right at, at the beginning. So that definitely heated up. It's cooling down pretty fast. My garage is pretty cold in here. It's winter time. I'm running some heaters. So let's see how well you can see this. This is the cut that I did right in that black line. This is with the saw blade. This side right here is with the angle grinder. And you can hear how it's snagging. Right here it's definitely smoother. I tried to eyeball it and do a good job, which you know definitely cut it off and it works well for that. I like my ankle grinders, but you're gonna get a much nicer finish cut with the Diablo circular saw blade, the Steel Demon. Alright, let's move on to something else. This is a post I use for snow fencing, and the end got kind of mangled a little bit. 
sometimes this end right here kind of mushrooms too much so I'm gonna just cut it off a little bit below the orange right there just see how it works this stuff is 1 16th of an inch thick right Need to go deeper yet. Let me give you a little contrast right here. All right, so when you look at the edges that this thing cut, nice and clean, no burrs at all, it's just really nice. Some flat steel right here, 3 16 by inch and a half, 30. 8.6. This was sitting closer to my door, which leaked some cold air. All right, I guess I could be pushing a little bit harder, but I'm just carefully 45, 46 degrees. That's definitely easy to handle. Okay, let's do the angle grinder. Right here, let's try that one first. 114, 113, 114 right there. So yeah, definitely a big difference between those two methods. I'd like to show you the saw blade right here, some of the features of it. So it's a seven and a quarter inch, 48 teeth, Cermit carbide. And what cement means, it's a ceramic and metallic blend. It's in the teeth, which provides a high heat tolerance. And it's an increased hardness for spear wear, an ultimate cutting life lasting up to 40 times longer than your typical carbide teeth. So there's a little guide on here before that wears out, I wanna read that. So for steel studs and channels, it'll cut between 1 16th of an inch to a quarter inch. Same thing with angle iron, threaded rod. This is pretty impressive one quarter inch through inch and a half. Let me give you a look here at the engineering design of the blade. So you can see what's going on here. It has advanced laser cut stabilizer vents, which traps the noise and vibration for maximum stability. Keeps the blades cooler for straight accurate cuts and metal cutting applications. It has a laser cut thin curve design which provides less resistance. And on here is a permashield, the coating on here. And that's a non-stick coating which protects against gumming up and corrosion. And then as always, before you put this blade in action, you're gonna to wanna to take this sticker off right here. If you wanna see the reviews of this blade and find out more on the Home Depot website, I will provide a link down below. As of today, the price on this was $29.97, but click down there to see the latest price. After all the cutting that I just did with this blade, the teeth still look nice and sharp. When I first saw this blade right here cutting steel, my concern was this blade wouldn't last very long at all. But from what I've seen at the event, this blade was cutting steel all day long and each pass was just as good as the next. It didn't really seem like it was ever getting dull. So I'm very impressed with that. My goal of this video is to put this thing through the test, so if you're considering the purchase of the Steel Demon, that hopefully I'll help you know whether or not this is right for you. And if you find the video interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.